everyone it's sam and i thought i would vlog the last week of work before summer break for those of you that know or don't know i am a paraprofessional in a new york city public school and it's my last week i normally don't work summer school uh, i've been thinking about it actually but this year i decided not to just because of the crazy year that we've had and it's not something that i normally do uh, so it is about let me see what time it is 743 it is Monday Jan January It's Monday June 21st <laughs> happy Father's Day to those of you that celebrated yesterday and I'm supposed to be at work at 8 a.m. I got here at 7 to 5 I did my makeup obviously I only do from here on up as you can tell from my chin I haven't done that I'm breaking out terribly and I'm so glad that I have the mask this one is from this brand here I'm never I was never 100% sure how to pronounce it is Shakti and at the beginning of the pandemic they made these amazing gorgeous masks and it came with the chain slash necklace which I absolutely love I don't have to worry about putting one on this one is one of my favorites and I really like this if you're still looking um, they're not they don't have as many pretty designs now but they do still have some if you are still required to wear a mask at your job which I am still and I'm not sure about next year probably not uh, but you just never know what's gonna happen you know between now and the summertime all the restrictions have been lifted and for those of you who have been watching me for any amount of time you will notice that my background is different I got a new car I used to drive the Volkswagen bug and last year a beetle last year the mechanic was like it's probably gonna be time to get a new car soon I was at the beginning of last year of course the pandemic happened and I didn't need to use my car but then when they asked me to come back to work in person the th on the third day the engine light came on and it was time to get a new car so I decided to get a Jeep Cherokee and what, what sold me on it was that it self parks now I haven't used it yet but it's so nice to know sorry it's so nice to know this coffee is not <laughs> sitting right with me uh, that I have that option and the entire I'll just show you the entire moon roof or sunroof I oh, never can forget I never can remember the difference between the two it opens all the way so it's going back 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 and nothing makes you feel older I'm gonna close it again but I that sold me and the self parking so, sold me I was about to leave and the got and the car salesperson was like let me show you how the self parking works and he did it parallel parking and perpendicular parking which was so awesome and it sold me and I bought the car I got it in black I'll show you a quick tour later uh, but I'm super happy with it I never I always used I have always driven a small car I drove a Ford Focus first it's just, which is a small sedan and then my mom gave me her bug which is a super small car and I never thought I would be able to drive a big car but it's possible there's so many things to like about this car uh, it does make me feel old because it is all electric and everything is it's all tech technology and it's something that I'm not used to uh, I mean you could even walk up to this car and it unlocks by itself if you have the key on you but you don't have to like unlock it it's just a really cool car and I'm very happy with it I got super comfortable with it right away and it, it makes me feel like I could drive a big 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 truck so um, if you're on the fence about it you just need practice and they make it so easy for you to be able to drive these types of cars that I had no problem. And I'm a very anxious driver, so that should tell you something. Uh, but I am going to just sip on my coffee, enjoy my last Monday for a while coming in. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so it's going to be kind of like a mix of uh, personal and work this vlog. And I have been trying really hard to not make these 
super long, but if it ends up that way, maybe I'll do like two parts or something like that. And I see my coworker from my pre-K team coming up with her son. She has like a little, um, I would call it like a mini caravan because she's on her bike and then he has like his little home in the back. <laughs> okay, I will talk to you guys later. It is about, well, it is. 118 and I just finished my lunch. I had leftover uh, Vietnamese food, which was really good. I had grilled pork chop with fried egg and rice. So that was pretty filling. I bought an apple, but I'm too full. Water. And I thought I was gonna eat these on uh, clementines, but I'm not, I'm just too full. I'll bring it home for later or I'll bring it home or I'll put it in the fridge for tomorrow. I get about an hour lunch. Let's take this off. I get about an hour lunch, and by the time I get back into the classroom, it is time for us to basically say goodbye. So it's a um, when I go to my lunch, it's a very sh short turnaround uh, to dismissal. Yeah, so I will just want to check in with you. Uh, it's been, you know, the last week here. It seems time is moving slow. <laughs> But it's been a good day. Hey, I'm home. This Monday is over. The last Monday until we start school again in September. Yay! Four more days. It's here. I've been home for about an hour. Just hanging out, relaxing, getting myself settled. When I come home, I like to just... It's quiet time. And I... I put my stuff away, I put my grandmother's laundry in the dryer, washer, not dryer, washer, because I do her laundry on Mondays, we don't really like her going down the basement steps, and I'm in my room because, my office, uh, slash closet, because the living room air conditioner broke it, just like everything else in this house is slowly dying, we have made the decision to sell this home because we are not equipped, oh there goes my marker, we are not equipped to take care of this house. We are not handy or don't want to put any more money into it. We put so much money into this home and the thing is nothing's been updated. We're just fixing things that are broken. Uh, the first week we were here, the shower, I was trying to turn the water like to make it more hot and the thing shot off and water was shooting at me. It was crazy. And then our dishwasher broke. Our oven broke a few months later and the pipes in this home are super old. We need to update a bunch of stuff like the kitchen, the bathroom, the bedrooms. The only thing that's really updated is the basement and even then they didn't do a great job. And I have a hard time with the fact that they, I don't think that they knew about all of these things, but I think they knew about some of these things, the previous owners, and it was an older lady and her family was, she probably hasn't fixed anything since she moved in in 1970 when this house was built. I'm not sure if that's when she moved in, but you know what I mean. Uh, I'm trying to look at the brighter side of things. They, were, they needed to sell a home because their mom had passed away. It was the son and daughter that was selling the home and we needed a place right away. And it worked out at the time, but now we just, it's not for us, this home. It's too much for us to take care of. We need a more modern home. And that's where we are right now. Um, it's just a lot going on. New car, we're trying to sell this home. And we weren't going to do this sell and buy at the same time, which I know some people like to do. It's just, that, that's going to be too much for us, especially with my grandmother. And we don't want to end up paying two mortgages. That is not something we are interested in doing at all uh yeah so um we're doing that and i'm hoping that somebody who is handy will look at this home and make it their dream home it just needs a lot of love where we are not we're we are not interested in fixing this place up at all we would like to move someplace else and just like i said a little bit more modern uh, but yeah, that's what um, I want to tell you guys about. I'm not sure if I'm going to see you later today. If I do, uh, maybe it's to show you dinner. I'm not going to cook dinner until it's time. I'm just making hamburgers and hot dogs, so that doesn't need that long. Uh, yeah, so I will uh, either see you guys later or uh, see you tomorrow. I totally forgot to tell you guys this morning, but on Friday, 
when I was driving home, the a screen popped up where my wheel is, like behind the wheel, and it said your tire, the rear passenger side tire is losing pressure and I was like what so I pulled over because it kept on getting lower and I didn't hear or see anything but I wasn't sure what I was looking for and I made it home and there was and then when I got home I heard shh in the tire I got a nail in there and I was super annoyed at first because it's a new car and I'm like what do I get a new tire but they patched the tire up I went to a mechanic and they patched the tire up and that cost $20, thank goodness. But I'm so happy I had the new car because if I had my old one, I wouldn't have known. I probably would have gotten a flat and been stuck somewhere. Uh, but it was really nice that the car told me about it because otherwise I wouldn't have known. Here is my dinner. There's a tomato, red onion, cucumber, basil, salad with a uh, olive oil and vinegar then we have a chicken sausage from Costco German potato salad uh, I like this one this potato salad way better than the one with the mayonnaise I highly recommend you try it uh, corn that I started eating and my hamburger that I started eating and this is our dinner for tonight hey it is Tuesday June 22nd a lot of stuff is happening today uh, the pre-K teachers, and I've, I'm in a pre-K class, they are all getting a sub so that they can plan for next year. Uh, so it'll be me and a new sub, and excuse me while I do some of my makeup. And I put some pimple patches on here because I just couldn't look at them anymore. And also it helps to just, for me not to touch it or to get caught on anything and burst because one of them was ready to go. Uh, yeah, so the teachers are having a planning meeting, and I mean, those days are okay. It's kind of like I get to run the show almost because the sub doesn't really know what's happening in school. Um, yeah, so that's happening. I have several bills due, which is always fun, r related to the car. So my insurance and my uh, car payment is due and that's an extra expense uh, I've never had to pay for a car before I've paid for insurance uh, when I took over the Volkswagen bug or Beetle but I never had to pay for it and I never paid for the car that I had before either uh, so this is something new for me it's kind of high it's supposed to be yesterday was 89 and it felt like 90 something today's supposed to be 74 but it's still pretty humid i thought the rain would because because of rain last yesterday i thought it would help this is by far my favorite uh concealer like hybrid high what's that called high end <laughs> uh this is the urban decay all nighter with waterproof full coverage i don't know about waterproof but it's definitely full coverage and it turns kind of almost into powder. So I like to, over my primer, I like to put it because it finishes kind of into a powder. And uh, I think that's all I have to say. So this morning's commute wasn't bad. I kind of woke up, not late, I woke up on time, but normally, I mean, usually I've been waking up a little bit earlier than my alarm. That's not true. I have two alarms. I've been waking up with the first one. Uh, but today I, I woke up at like 4 and stayed up for oh, just a little bit, not too long. Um, and it took me about 40 minutes to get to work, which is great too. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to do the rest of my eye makeup and don't have to go inside until 8 a.m. It's only 7 something, 7.10 or whatever. Hey, it is my lunch now. Uh, I got out here at about 12.50, it's 107 now. I did finish my lunch already, I forgot to show you. It was just leftovers from yesterday, and have to be careful because I already spilled some of the dressing that got on the top of the lid on my shirt. I'm gonna be cleaning that with this. Uh, but I added the, all the salads that I made yesterday, so the tomato salad, the German potato salad, 
and then I added also the chicken. I couldn't finish the chicken. Hey, I still have this thing. I'm gonna try to keep it on for as long as possible until I shower anyway. The other one had to come off because it wasn't staying on. It's about four o'clock. I came home at three. There was a lot more traffic today than yesterday. I'm gonna blame it on the rain because it did start raining kind of heavy and I feel like you can add 10 to 15 minutes uh, more to your trip with the rain. I did come home, however, to some exciting pieces of the mail. The first is my New York plates. Super excited. I Okay, before I get into talking about the car dealership, it did come with the, the registration and I have to get my car inspected. And this company, this car dealership is super frustrating to me to have to deal with them still. I think this is the last time that I have to deal with them. They told me they were going to overnight the plates, which if they would have, like they said, when they came in, I could have gotten it done when I fixed the nail in the car. Uh, so that's kind of annoying. And the other thing that they did was they, so the, it was a Saturday that I bought the car. I wrote a check even though I didn't want to. And I was like, listen, I just transferred the money today. So it'll take a few days to get into my account and they're like yeah yeah whatever to sell me the car they said yes 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 they told me they were gonna open up the plates they said no worry we won't cash the check what did they do first thing monday they cashed the check my bank charged me a fee because they i didn't have money in the account and then they waived that they i got the bank to waive that but then they charged me another fee it's td bank they charge you a million fees and then the car dealership had the nerve the audacity to say oh we're charging you a fee as well and i was not having it we did not pay the fee they didn't ask for it and the financial person was like oh they must have missed my post-it that i wrote on like the post-it you didn't write uh so just kind of frustrated with them and again if they had sent me these plates overnight last week like they were supposed to i could have gotten my inspection done but now i have to get it done and then the other piece of mail is a check and I had gotten my vision exam back in April when the there were still COVID restrictions but I want to mention that because the place was just I felt safe it was clean uh, the exam was amazing the doctor was really uh, full of knowledge and wanted to pass it on to me and I highly recommend it if you're looking for a place and you don't have insurance it is pricey, but I feel like it's worth the money. I think I spent 150 around 150 for an eye exam and a contact fitting. If you're just, if you're just doing an eye exam, I believe it's like 75 to $90. I don't, I'm not sure exactly. And you get to pick the appointment time that you want. Really, really good. And I would do, I would go to them again. And so with my ins vision insurance, they do reimburse me up to a certain amount. So I got that today and I've been waiting for it. So that's another thing I can cross off my list to not have to worry about. Uh, yesterday though, I did forget to take out something for dinner. So I just took out something now. We are gonna have the chicken sausage leftovers. There's still some left. And I'm gonna make spaghetti with tomato sauce i just wanted something kind of simple i've been feeling that i think i was watching somebody eat spaghetti and meatballs that's why i forgot who gosh what was i watching i don't watch that much television or youtube i mean i watch the same things on youtube i forgot but that kind of inspired me and then maybe a side of asparagus i usually like to add a veggie to the meal and then the last thing I want to share with you was a gift that we got from a student. It says a heart and it says Miss Sam and it's just really sweet. This year has been so wacky, but the families have really been kind to us. Uh, normally we do get uh, gifts, uh, but I think this year is going to be a little bit different. Uh, they gave us a candle and it's totally unexpected and really sweet. This is Razzleberry. My teacher got watermelon. Thank goodness I didn't get a watermelon because I don't like it. <laughs> uh, but this this is, I think, a good scent for the bathroom. It smells really good. And it says hand poured. And I just love this blue. It's so pretty. This top is funny. <laughs> Tie-dye. Uh, yeah, so that was really nice and not expected at all. Okay, so that's it for now. I've, I'll try to film dinner if I remember. Sometimes I forget. And yeah.
Here is dinner. There is a pork loin. Then we have asparagus, spaghetti with uh, tomato sauce. We love, or I love, ragu here. And then fresh basil from, well, I don't have a garden, but I just, I'm just growing basil and parsley. It's just, I love to have that, especially in the summertime. Just fresh herbs makes everything taste so much better. Hi, it's Sam. Today is Wednesday, June 23rd, which means three more days, including today, of work. Wow. I got here in really good time, about 35, 40 minutes. And I'm um, parked yesterday though. I had such a hard time getting out of the spot because the person behind me and the person in front of me blocked me in so bad. It was like leaving inch by inch. Thank goodness for the parking center sensors and the backup camera. If you don't have a backup camera and you have, let's say, an older car, I, I have a friend whose dad installed a rear view camera and it just comes in probably the one of the best inventions on a car ever besides the car <laughs> uh excuse me while i put on makeup i won't be looking at you at moments and just i'm so so happy that i have a car that's modern <laughs> that seems like a theme of my life i just want a modern life and the so today i'm hoping that nobody squeezes me and not that it matters because i'm gonna stay a little bit later to help my teacher move some things we don't have that much to do for the end of the year cleanup we took over somebody else's classroom in in may or end of april and besides the stuff that we've been working on and the things that my teacher brought over there's not really that much to do thank goodness the other class the other pre-k classrooms uh she brought a lot there's three pre-k pre classrooms and that's the thing that i want to make mention of or make note of is that teachers kind of get their uh preferences in terms of teaching but parents don't we could be put anywhere i've been fortunate enough that i've kind of had a consistent place for the last five six years i've been in pre-k but it doesn't have to be like that. Parents don't get to like pick what they want. They ask for your preference just to be nice, but they don't have to give it to you. It's just what the needs are. Fortunately for me, nobody wants to be in pre-K because it's... Well, I shouldn't say nobody wants to be in pre-K, although that there's a bit of truth to that. It's, it's a lot of work and the upper grades, if you're just put in like a normal classroom, it's pretty easy. When I first started, I was put in all over because I was a sub. So I got a feeling for a little bit of everything, which was nice. Oh, can I just say, I put, so this is the Smashbox Cover Shop Major Metals Eye Palette. I put this on yesterday, this color, and it was too much, too much for work for me. Uh, so I'm going to try to go maybe something from this palette. I do bring two palettes with me. This is more professional setting. <laughs> I could wear these other colors. I'm just not comfortable with it, but maybe I will be. I took, I left it on, but then I rubbed it off a little bit and put a lighter color on top. Anyway, so I'm going to help my teacher move some stuff. The reason we're moving is because normally this school that I work in has grown in the last 10 years, although enrollment is now because of the pandemic. We had grown so much that the pre-K, two out of the three pre-k classes had moved to a different location about 10 minutes away so not that far away and that's normally where I work so we're going to bring the stuff back there because it looks like we are going back there but who knows what's going to happen over the summer I'm not holding my breath or anything um we are we were not there for a reason so unless those reasons get fixed we're probably going to come back to the big school which is what we call it okay I'm going to put my makeup on and I'll check you out check you out later i'll see you guys later okay i'm done with my makeup i love it i just do it right here and that's fine and it's so funny the how the kids love eyeshadow or they notice they pick up on that stuff normally i don't wear eyeshadow not that these kids would know it i just don't have enough time if we were working at the other location and since i'm sitting here for so long i 
do the eyeshadow stuff. I I went into my makeup bag and I wasn't looking and I stabbed myself with this. So be careful if you guys have something like that. It never did that before, but the way I went in, look at this. I was bleeding. Anyway, so my makeup is done. My hair, I brushed it a little bit more. Look kind of crazy. And then I wanted to tell you about my realtor experience yesterday. It was an old friend I turned into like you know acquaintance from high school and he <laughs> he took a flosser which was fine he took a flosser and I thought he was gonna go to the bathroom with it but he just sat there talking to us and was going through every single tooth nook and cranny it was crazy I was like um okay it just family I will accept it I don't like it but I'll accept him flossing their teeth in front of me but no it was just weird he did give us some good tips we settled on a price point he advised us a few things on what to do and he wants to get this like listed and I like the enthusiasm but I don't think he's uh, he's underestimating like how fast I can declutter the home and he said the house is not that bad, as bad as we were making it out to be, which is a relief. But there's a lot of stuff. I mean, we have everybody's, we're living there. And we might be living there for months, depending on, I mean, it's a seller's market. But it is a house that needs a lot of work. So we don't know how long we're going to be, we're going to be there. But I'm going to start to declutter starting today. I couldn't do it yesterday because he was there so late. Ugh, I asked him to come earlier, but he was there until like 9, 30, 10 o'clock. And that's pretty late. For me, anyway. Uh, but yeah, there's just a, a few things that we have to do. Uh, declutter is the main thing, and it kind of falls on me to do it since I'm going to be done with work. And he, and my sister doesn't really have to do anything in the basement. There's a few things, but not as bad. It's just we have a lot of stuff, a lot, a lot of stuff, and I'm worried about my off office slash closet because. Ooh, girl, it is. Ooh, it's a lot of stuff to to uh, hide away. Uh, and of course, I'm gonna take this time to do a donate pile and to do a sell and a toss pile. And there's a car right next to me that's not moving. I don't know why. It's weird. Very strange. I'm not sure what he's doing. And this is a car that's. I've seen it before in the neighborhood, but he doesn't work here. Anyway, uh, just a lot of stuff that I have to do to get it ready to show people. I just, it's a weird thing to have people come in while you're still living there. And he wants to start showing it like 4th of July weekend. But Steve's not going to be here. And I don't know. I think we should get the air conditioner uh, replaced first before we start showing people i'm gonna have to bring that up with him uh but yeah i'm gonna go inside and get ready for the day well i'm already ready for the day but get the classroom ready for the day hi i'm coming to you from my favorite part of the house i am home i got home at about 3 15 it's 4 10 now it's a little later than usual for me to come home at around 3.15, but I offered up my car to my teacher so we could move stuff from the main school to where we're going to hopefully be next year and where we were before the pandemic, so she had to return some stuff. It wasn't everything, but we are starting to clean up just because we don't get... Well, we only have two more days, but on Friday, it's not a half a day. Usually, it's been a half a day, but with this wacky year, I guess it's going to finish in a wacky way. I'm frustrated with that because those few hours were really helpful in cleaning up and there's so much to do just closing up the classroom. There's a checklist that we have to follow, like rolling up the rugs, pushing the tables uh, to the far end of the room, away from the windows. There's just things that we have to do and it would have been really helpful if they gave us the few hours in the afternoon, but what are you going to do? And unfortunately, I can't stay that much longer on Friday. I have something to do that Friday. And so I'm trying to do what I can leading up to the last day of school. So that's that for work that I want to talk to you about. I did get other pieces of mail that I want to share with you. This is so funny that this week there's just been a lot of mail that has come in that I want to share with you. So hold on. 
You haven't seen Ava in a while. Hi, Ava. You're going to be friendly today. Let's see. Sometimes she does. Oh. Oh, did you hear her? She just does the one. Oh, you want to give me belly? Yeah? No, she's not feeling it. <laughs> I got this at school today. Ava sent me a gift. She's so sweet. It's, she's been sending me flowers for the past six years since I've been working at that school. It's actually not Ava, but we'll say it is. So beautiful. And then this came in the mail. We are going to a Pride event. And I saw, I was watching a YouTube video, and I saw that um, this couple were wearing the wristbands. One, one person was wearing the wristbands, and the other was wearing the headband. So I thought that me and Steve could split this. Maybe I'll wear the wristbands, or one wristband, the headband, or, you know, whatever. But they're so cute. I love them. And then this. Remember this game? It's updated and everything. I'm so excited to play it. I remember it talks to you. It's just totally nostalgia um, to a nostalgia buy, and I'm really excited to play with this. Oh gosh! <laughs> Hello, this guy just I got a little discombobulated because well, there was a lot of traffic this morning, and I've been praising how good traffic was in the morning, but today no. They decided to do construction, and I'm not an expert, but I'm like, why would you do construction during rush hour in the morning? I don't get it. I'm just, the vlog word, it should be a happy vlog, but I'm like feeling frustrated with traffic and why they would do construction during rush hour. And then this, I had my window open, this guy walked by and just coughed right when he was walking and i i'm vaccinated so i'm okay but i was just like i don't know what you have and i don't want to get i'm vaccinated against covid i'm not vaccinated against if you have like a cold or the flu i'm sorry i am vaccinated against flu but i just i've enjoyed not being sick i don't know about you guys but i've enjoyed not being sick and I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm just a bit frustrated this morning. Frustrated this morning. I did get a good amount of sleep or sorry. No, that's a lie. I, I slept through the night. I don't remember waking up. I woke up. I went to bed a little before 11 or exactly at 11. And then I woke up, but didn't wake up until my alarm at 615. Normally I wake up a little bit before and I had called my coworker this morning, but she was already at the part of the bridge where there was a lot of traffic, where I was stuck. So I felt kind of bad, but I couldn't get to my phone until it was safe. Okay, that looks much better with a little bit of concealer. This one is running out. Hopefully it'll make it till tomorrow. The mask covers that part, but I like to just put that on there. Two more days, including today. The it's it's here. It's basically here. <sighs> I'm gonna take a deep breath. I'm having my coffee, and that's all really there is to say right now. Uh, oh, yesterday when we went back to the location that we're going to be hopefully next year, uh, a family never picked up their kids' stuff the artwork from pre-k since that class was the one that we had to you know of march 2020 we had to uh stay home uh, so i brought that with me and i'll bring it to her kindergarten teacher because i know who her kindergarten teacher is which i'm sure she'll be excited i don't know about the parents but she'll be excited to bring that look at that stuff Hi, I'm home. One more day. Oh, today was a tough day. I was tired and the kids were like, seem like really amped. I think they know that school's almost over. Uh, so it was a tiring day, but one more day. And then, oh, there was a surprise uh, breakfast for me, which was so nice. Um, I thought I took a clip of it, but maybe I didn't. If not, I'll insert a picture. It was really, really nice and a huge surprise. And then... Um, it took me a long time to get home. There was a lot of traffic today, like an extra half an hour. 
uh, because of, I don't know, construction. And it seemed like there was a ton of trucks. Uh, I decided to take side streets because GPS told me there was going to be a ton of traffic. And I got pulled over for having the temporary plates, which you guys know I showed you earlier that I got them. I just haven't put them on, so I have to get that done ASAP. Uh, but it's always an interesting experience to get pulled over. This is my only my second time. Not Gunwood. And... It's a weird experience. I got nervous. I didn't even realize they were pulling me over because I was like, what did I do? Uh, but it was for the temporary plates and they let me go. It was fine. Uh, but then, so in our neighborhood, there's it's there's not assigned parking or anything. It's, you know, free for everybody. But I've always parked like in front of my home and that's what I'm used to. And I like to save the driveway for for Steve and like if anybody else is coming uh, so normally people move but yesterday so the there's across the street it's all attached houses and that means just like limited spots and uh, everybody now has three four cars anyway so yesterday across the street neighbor he parked in front of the house and then when I left this morning there was another car there and I'm like wow it's really early I wonder how that happened so they just, he just came home now and I'm sitting by the couch. So that's why I, I noticed it. So whoever parked in front of the house, he dropped them off and they left, but then he took the spot again. And I just think, I don't know, I would never park in front of their house for, and especially to do that kind of move. I thought that was kind of a jerky move. I know I don't have claims on the parking spot, but I would not park in front of their home. Uh... But if I did, it would only be temporary. I wouldn't have somebody else park there in my place and then switch with them again. I think that's kind of, I don't know. I just, it leaves a bad feeling in my stomach. I just, I'm, I'm super annoyed by that. I don't know. So anyway, that's my day. Again, I forgot to take something off, but I didn't forget. I think we're going to order food again. Uh, that's just how it's going to be for the rest of this week and probably a little bit into next week and until I like kind of start to feel like cooking again or we get AC because I cannot it's just too much without the AC to cook for everybody yeah so I will whatever we end up eating I will get back to you I don't think did I show you yesterday's dinner oh my goodness I didn't show you yesterday's dinner we got, uh, we ordered gyros. <laughs> I totally forgot. Oops. I'll try to remember to get today's dinner. I wanted to share with you some more goodies that I got. This I got in the mail today. It's from my financial advisor. They gave me a Starbucks gift card. I'm not sure how much is on it. It doesn't say anywhere. Usually they send this really bad cake. And I'm so glad they switched to that. And then another thing I want to share with you are these two. This is brand here it's Prosecco I was looking for a different brand but I went to two stores during my lunch liquor stores and they didn't have the specific kind that I was looking for I asked the second store what they recommend they recommend that so I got one for my teacher and I'm gonna give her a gift card to I'm d debating whether CB2 because she is going to be moving soon or Target either of those I think would be good and then this is for my other co-worker who is retiring and I'm so sad because me and her have gotten really close and uh, so I wanted to get her that. I already got her flowers earlier this week or last week. I forgot when. Um, but I wanted to get her something bubbly. And I think that's all I want to share with you for right now. Oh my goodness. Oh, I have my car still running. A few things. Oh, because I wanted to move back a little bit. Anyway, crazy traffic this morning. As soon as I got up, well, I turned my GPS on. I think I told you guys that I do that when I go in and then when I uh, go home, when I go to work and when I come home, just so that I have an idea. And it was saying that there was an accident and uh, that it wouldn't take me that much longer, but they recommended I get off the exit. Usually I stay on after the bridge, but they were like, take the fuck's exit off. And it was an accident. It was crazy. I texted my coworker that it was, there was an accident, but she was going to stay on. Um, so hopefully she'll get here soon. And then when we got here, our principal was like, if there's parking on the left side, so we park, I usually park on the right side because families 
double park and block us in and it's really hard for me to get out sometimes when I'm on the left side but she's like no there's parking on this side and she said that to everybody not just me uh, she was like you need to park there and we're all over here on this side uh, so that was something it's like it's the last day of school come on but you know she takes all the heat if something happens so I understand I moved over and then my coworkers just came and just cause complaining and complaining the one that complains oh my goodness so too much complaining but it's the last day baby I started putting on some makeup and oh my goodness it's the last day I cannot believe it okay let me move my car back a little bit you guys can watch me I don't know if it's gonna fall let's see I move that? Oh, it's, I put on my parking brake. All right, not too much. That's good. <laughs> I just don't want to have a hard time getting out later, you know? All right. It's the last day of school. I am, we're supposed to have a staff appreciation breakfast, but it's more to honor the retirees. There's about five of them, which is a lot. Um, one of them is a good friend. And so I brought champagne. I, I think I had mentioned that already. Yeah. And then that's it. Last day. It's a full day. I can't believe that either. That is, that is really frustrating because <sighs> we just needed the time to clean up more. And granted, our classroom doesn't have a lot, but we could have went and helped other classes, other the other pre-K classes. So. I don't know you have to think that there's a reason for everything because it doesn't make sense here like are we just doing why they needed we needed that extra day the extra few hours I don't know like you would need to come in at a certain amount of hours but it doesn't matter because the the kids have been remote they're not online for eight six hours a day Here's the part where I do my hair. So I'm putting a little pomade. Look at how light it is. I know I mentioned it several times, but it really has lighted. And I see people bringing stuff for the breakfast. Bagels and fruit, I think, which is nice. I've eaten more breakfast this week than I've ever had in like the two months that I've been here. Uh, it's It's been actually really nice. And I feel like I do have more energy in the morning. But then I'm like, oh, my stomach is so full just because I don't know how to regulate. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, I cut myself off there at that point, rambling about the specific uh, hours that we need to make. And it's just kind of frustrating cause, because it's just our time could have been spent better. Of course, we want to spend time with the kids, but if they want us to have time to pack up. It's just kind of a crazy thing. Anyway. Uh, I'm just going to spray my hair with this thing, R Plus Co. Uh, a beauty salon came and brought all this stuff that they weren't selling. And it's actually, like, really nice. I love this. It's the Grid Structural Hold Setting Spray. And it's kind of like hairspray. And it smells really good. And the reason I do that, the window's open. The reason I do that is because the flyaways and the just the little baby hairs, they really bother me if they touch my face. So weird. It's like too sensitive. Anyway, so I'm just gonna tie this back, and then you guys haven't seen my hair down in a while. I feel like I just can't, especially in the summertime. Mm -mm, it needs to be back. <laughs> okay, um, I will talk to you guys probably either during my lunch, but I always forget, and definitely at the end of the day. It's here. Last day is here. Hi, it is 1.13, it's my lunch. <laughs> it's really hot outside, so that's why I'm sweating and I was carrying a bunch of my stuff that I wanted to bring home with me to the car during my lunch so that I could pack up, help pack up uh, the classroom without having to bring all that stuff to the car afterwards. So I have a sandwich, fruit, and water for lunch. And I got I mean, I, it's not like I'm never coming back to Brooklyn, but I got bread, uh, I got two types of bread, lard bread and uh, onion focaccia, with, which looked really, really good. Hi guys! I am fully stopped right now. That's the only reason I hit record. I had set up my phone to record. Sorry, I'm in this corner here. I just can't 
I don't have a mount that goes on the top, which I should, of the dashboard. I just have it, you know, the, the car mount that goes into the air vents. Anyway, it is 426 exactly. I am like five minutes, seven minutes away from home. Usually I'm home by three something or before three. Today there was some miscommunication uh, after work with whose car was taking what stuff and it was just kind of frustrating. That's the word of the day, frustrating. And I ended up staying a lot later than I was supposed to and helping move stuff in my car, which I wasn't planning to. I already did that Wednesday. But I felt bad and I was just like, whatever, let's just get it over with. If, if the other, there was another classroom that we were going to use their car, they were just not, they did not want to bring our stuff. And if they had told us earlier, we could have been done by like 2.30 tops because we were only in the classroom for two months. We didn't, you know, we didn't need a bunch of stuff. Uh, the other classroom though that we were gonna share the car, their car with, they, it was like they were moving and starting over. I'm not sure why they brought so much stuff. It was just too much and they couldn't fit it. They, they had to do multiple loads. I, I, for me personally, I wouldn't wait until the last day to do all that stuff. It just is like you're, it's a glutton for punishment, you know? Anyway, it was a good day. We had the breakfast this morning. That was super nice. I forgot to take a video of that. Uh, you saw my lunch, which I didn't even finish. It was, I guess, last day nerves. And then crazy, crazy, crazy traffic. Uh, it was red from, like, before the bridge all the way home. Uh, let's see. I had left around 3.20ish and I just got, like I'm still five minutes away from home. It says I should be home at 4.33, which if you think about it, it's not that bad. It just, you don't want any traffic obviously on the last day of school and just want to get home. Um, I don't feel that, not I don't feel sick. It's just my knees are starting to hurt. I don't know if I'm not, I probably when I was, and the thing with, oh, so that's the thing. I was helping the other class move all of their heavy stuff and then they were like oh we can't fit your stuff but I they had no problem with me helping them out I don't know it was just frustrating I <sighs> so they the teacher of that class apologized and everything but it was just kind of like it didn't need to be that way and I don't know today when I get home I think I'm going to Kill Road. <laughs> if you live in Staten Island, you know where that is. <laughs> and I am just gonna go home. I'm packed because I have a bunch of stuff with me and a few gifts, which was super nice. You know what? I was gonna. For three quarters of a mile. I was going to uh, end the vlog now, but I I'll show you some more things that we got uh, as gifts, which was really really nice. Hi guys, coming to you from the hottest place on earth. We need to get an air conditioner. It's not working anymore. I am sweating and I look crazy. I usually, when I come home, I take a nap, but today I didn't, or at least I lay down on Fridays, but I just didn't today. And I was emptying my, I was just, I don't know what I was doing, but it was, I didn't get to nap. And then we, Decided to go out to eat and get gas for the car tomorrow. I am gonna get an inspection So I want to go to sleep pretty soon. It's almost midnight uh, But I did want to share with you some gifts that I got so let me just turn you around Here is the cutest wine bag ever and I did get wine and The mom it was from the class parent and she's so lovely. She was probably the best class parent we've had just really gung-ho about everything and asked if we needed anything and she even took up a, a collection for us uh, for the end of the year which I thought was super sweet they didn't have to do that and since we were only with the kids in person for such a short time about two months I wasn't expecting anything so that was really sweet of her and she got us this I don't drink white, but this looks like artisan, like an artisan type of store. I'm not sure. Jenny and Francois Selections. 
I love this. I think that's such a, I love this combo together. And then a coworker got me a scratch off or got everybody. And I didn't win, but it was still fun while I thought I had a chance. And then a few birthday cards from the kids, which was so, so sweet. I have to say, even though this was a crazy year, I was very glad to be back at work and feel extremely grateful that I had a job during this pandemic and I was healthy and that things seem to be going. Okay, I got cut off there for a second and maybe that's a good thing. It's telling me that it's time to end this video. I just want to say I feel extremely grateful and I hope you enjoyed coming along with me for my last week of work for the summer. And if you have any questions or comments, just leave them down below or direct message me and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.